This is my theory on artificial personalities as they relate to robots. My AP, the artificial personality theory has come from learning about, listening to lectures on, and working with AI for many years. There just seemed to be such a large amount of confusion on the whole field of AI. For instance, a while back a friend of mine was talking about artificial intelligence as it related to neurons and sensors. A minute later, without even a pause, he was talking about artificial intelligence as it related to a robot's self-awareness. It was really a matter of a confusion of terminology. Therefore, in the next few minutes I will attempt to classify AI as it relates to robots and the artificial personality. AI can be divided into four main categories. First, the AP. The artificial personality, which is sometimes called the artificial person. Second is voice recognition. The third is object recognition. And the fourth and last category is smart sensors. The first category is where we find the AP, the artificial personality, sometimes known as the artificial entity, and quite often simply called an AI. It is the software or collection of software that responds verbally and sometimes physically to most often speech and less often visual data. What appears to be merely a conversation between a robot and a human, is where you find the AP itself. As many people know, utterances come into a robot's computer through a microphone, get turned into words and sentences, and then are further analyzed and processed as a conversation. Then the AP gives intelligent replies using chatbot software. The chatbot software then retains key points of that conversation, what is essentially analogous to human memory, who was talking, what the subject was, etc., for future conversations. If the software is clever and is running well, a human might even mistake the AP for another human. This is known as passing the Turing test. My robot's chatbot software is quite clever and once she has either GPT-3 or an AIML chatbot running, we can officially call her an AP, an artificial personality. Now an AP can be, if you'll excuse the pun, robotic, or it can be very human-like. This all depends on the purpose of the robot. A self-driving car, while having more intelligence than almost any other robot, would certainly not be considered an AP. The car's software strictly observes and reacts. It has leading-edge AI technology, much more sophisticated than any chatbot, but one would never mistake a self-driving car for a living entity. In the future that might change, but for now when you put your car into self-driving mode, no entity besides your own self is behind the wheel. Next, you run into software that borders on being APs. With their cute, canned and repetitive answers, software agents like Alexa, Cortana and Siri, although on the robotic side of the APs, are much more human-like than a self-driving car and might still be considered APs, albeit primitive ones. The second and third categories of AI, work to bring the real world to the AP. The second is voice recognition where the input comes in mainly through a microphone. The third category of AI is object recognition, where the input usually comes in through a camera. Both of these turn the robot's audio and video environmental sensory experience into textual data which is then sent to the AP software. The visual data can change my robot's output. For example, through the microphone she hears, how are you? The audio is automatically saved to a file and sent to Bing speech recognition. Bing then sends the transcribed text back to the robot's chatbot software. Normally she would answer, I'm fine, or something similar. But at the same time, her camera picks up a face and her facial identification software recognizes the speaker as someone that she despises. Her AP software now has textual and visual inputs, which might change her reply. Instead of answering with something like, I'm doing well, thanks, she might respond with, why don't you leave before I call the police? The fourth category of AI is that of other simpler self-contained smart sensors. These detect things like temperature, a robot's position in 3D space, and other environmental details. This category, like the second two, also will color the AP's replies. For instance, if her battery were low, my robot's responses should be centered around getting recharged. If a user asked her, do you think it will rain? Instead of just saying, I don't know, she might respond with, I don't know, but I am awfully tired. My batteries are low, and I truly need a recharge and soon. When I build a robot, I integrate these four types of AI into my robot. 
So my robot doesn't merely have artificial intelligence, it is an AI entity. Or more precisely, it is an artificially self-aware AP. It is, an artificial person. Thank <laughs> you.